Hello friends, Catherine Doss here with Cat's Keto Crew and I'm back at it today. So today I thought we would take our mini dash maker and make some fried pickles because if I, I mean if you're anything like me like fried pickles are delicious but breading and frying and I know there's some of you with air fryers but y'all this is even easier in your mini dash. Okay so what we're going to do is take these Vlasic stackers. You could use any sort of flat pickle, okay? So what we're going to do is take a pickle. These are just the big pickle. Let me blot him off here for a second so I'm not dripping pickle juice all over the place, okay? Big flat pickles, right? Skinny, flat pickle slices. And I am just going to cut him in half. Okay, so now I've got two pickle pieces. And what I'm going to do is take my mini dash, get it in the right spot for y'all to see, open them up, and today I am taking some Colby Jack cheese and sprinkling it on the bottom. I am all about the layering when it's making chopples and different things because I think it crisps up so much better. So we put it down there and it starts to like get melty. Okay, so you can see whoo, that it's melting down. Okay, so here's the trick y'all. Taking the flat pickle and I'm just layering it directly on top of the melted cheese. And you're like, this is gonna be such a mess. It's not. Okay, this is one whisk egg with two tablespoons of cream cheese also blended into it. I like the little cream cheese with the pickle because it gives a little, just a little extra kick. And I am carefully pouring it around and a little bit on top of my pickle, okay, but not over the filling because if you have played around with your dash waffle maker, if you overfill it, it's a huge mess, okay? <laughs> we don't want that. So. Now, before I close it though, I am adding another layer of cheese on top, okay? So, I know lots of people say, oh, it sticks so badly, or how do I make it not stick? Do I have to spray the dash? No, you don't have to spray the dash. Use more cheese, okay? So, put it in there. Woo! Can you hear it? All right, so that's cooking away. But I would thought I would show you so that you don't have to wait for it to all cook what my other one that I've already made looks like. So I just did the exact same thing with this one, okay? So if you tear him open, y'all, there's a pickle in there. Okay, so it is straight out fried pickle. And it's delicious. I don't know how great these would be reheated because I don't know like when you go to a store you get fried pickles they're best because they're like a little bit warm and crunchy and that's exactly what this is tasting like so you could also use this as like a hamburger bun so that your pickle was like inside the bun no I'm all about it so let me know if you give the fried pickle a try because I would love to hear what your thoughts are and I will stay tuned and be coming up with more mini dash waffle makers as I go along. 